How would you like some peanut butter with that jelly sandwich? Mother f- Hey, oh, it's the Chris Card Show. Hey, oh, it's- This show is brought to you by... How are you? How is everyone doing? I'm eating a celery. Let's just wait till I'm done. Is that her name? Oh. <laughs> By the way, Tim's here. Hello. Yeah, thanks he's for back. Me. Yeah. No, oh, thanks for coming. Tim and his NPR voice. <laughs> it's coming in all soft. It's like hello. Thanks. You for know, are me. you just gonna make fun of all her guests? Maybe. Tim's let more of a. Regular now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You got to get treated like a regular. If, if we didn't treat him like a regular, he wouldn't feel welcome. Right. Mike is here. Hi. We didn't have a podcast last week. Um, you know, there were things going on. Lots of things going on. Things going on. And uh, Mike, you had to poops, right? Or you I had was to- shitting in the woods. Um, well, actually, it was after podcast day I was shitting. But yeah. Yeah, uh, Friday I was in I was in New Glarus. New Glarus, yeah. Yeah. Did you drive out there? Or yeah. Did you take the plane? No, no, the plane was down. Yeah. So it's it's you know needs new um, ailerons and stuff. But yeah. Yeah, the bunch of ailerons. Which which ones are those? It's in the back. <laughs> Just to see if you know or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ailerons are actually not in the back though; they're on the wings. Yeah, on the back of the wings. Yeah, but they're not in the back of the plane. No, the I just said back. <laughs> You're the one who assumed. And that was Nerd Hour with Matt and Mike. <laughs> so what else are you doing these days? <laughs> well, um, w- when I'm not, when I'm not uh, enjoying the beautiful woods of Wisconsin or shooting my brains out, I generally like to work on a music podcast and, uh, you know, work on my home as a project. You had... You had the big shits. And well, wait, wait, were they big shits or were they just frequent shits? They were both. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like I have a theory of why. Okay. Remember I was going to tell you this. Yeah, and you know what I love <laughs> as he eats his chicken wings. Yeah, you're you're still sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> about 10 minutes ago you're like I got a theory about this and you're waving your chicken wing at me and then here you are now we're broadcasting I do have a and, yeah okay because you seem like you're a gassy person do i yeah you're a very gassy person that's what i know you as mike the gassy okay i think out of everyone here you're the gassiest person no 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 i mean <laughs> not, i don't i don't mean stomach i i should i should, i'll take the back maybe not farting but stomach issues you have a lot of stomach issues do you i well i i like to poop here yeah well no 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 but you always seem like there's stomachs you burp a lot I don't burp a lot, no. You're taking away my theory, Mike. <laughs> Just go with it. Sure. So what's the theory? Um, I, we think, have, your, I uh, think your theory has holes in it. I yeah. think you eat... I think my stomach has holes in I it. I think you eat too healthy. Is that what it is? Uh-huh. Eating too healthy. As you chow down on that chicken Eat some more chicken wings. wings. Yeah. <laughs> the problem with that... It's the blue cheese. If Mike likes blue cheese. So I do like blue, blue cheese. cheese. Right, that's what... The, <laughs> they told me... Anyone that likes blue cheese, don't trust them. Mm, okay. I don't know who they is, but. <laughs> hey, Chris. Yeah. Anyone who likes blue cheese, don't trust them. Thank you. It was Matt. Do you like blue cheese, Tim? No, I do not. Oh, what is wrong with you people? Blue cheese is delicious. Well, we don't shit everywhere in the woods. <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> that's I, You kind of have a point at this point. <laughs> we do. I don't go to the woods very often. I'm pretty sure if I did, I'd shit everywhere in the woods. <laughs> that you know of. Hmm. Well, I'm confused. I don't know. I don't either. Why well, weren't you here last Friday? I forget. Well, Mike wasn't here because he was shitting in the woods. Matt was helping me wipe. <laughs> Apparently, I was helping him wipe. I don't remember that. I was enjoying my birthday. All right. Yeah. Because you don't enjoy it on the podcast. No. 
<laughs> okay, fair enough. Me and Tim went to uh, where did we go? Pollyanna Social. Yeah, Pollyanna Social. And they had no beer, and Chris was very disappointed. No, they did have beer. <laughs> they did have beer, but they had. But I didn't know it was not beer place. It's very fancy. I cocktails. thought it was Pollyanna. But oh. their drinks were fucking phenomenal. What's the difference between so? I what's the difference? Well, at the brewery, they can't serve their liquor because there's another liquor store in the same strip mall. So they had to build a second, or they opened up a second uh, place in downtown Lamont so they can serve the liquor. Oh, you've got so they can't sell the liquor at the brewery any because they used to. No, they not not the liquor. I mean, they can sell the beer, but not the liquor. Oh, not the hard liquor. Oh, oh, I get you. Because they have in out in uh, St. Charles, they have a distillery now, so they make their own whiskey. Their own vodka, their own gin. Yeah, it was actually Rum. really good too. Yeah, better than the uh, better than the Chester's stuff that we Jesus, had. Jesus, yeah, the Chester shit was shit. Well, that was like the Walmart special relabeled. Right. No, this <laughs> was actually a, a nice, fancy place. Um, what did What did you get? You uh, an old fashioned. Yeah. And then I don't remember what the second one. was. Yeah, I got, I, I I only had two. Do you and not remember because of the first one? We were pretty. Uh, we were pretty drunk. <laughs> 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 uh, the, the bartender kept giving us free shots too. Yeah, she oh, did. Wow. Of uh, not Malort, and that's they, yeah. They make their own Malort. Yeah, they make their w- why? own Malort. Yeah, yeah. Does well, it it's, taste uh, anything like Malort? No. What do they call it? Tastes like Malort. I don't know uh, what they called it. Uh, Malort. D E D. Dead. Was that it? Yeah. Yeah, but it didn't. It. Like, you didn't have that feeling of, like, oh, fuck, this is terrible. It was like, you know, it still had that wormwood in there and all that, but I don't think it was, like, terrible. Terrible. It, it, it had a lingering after taste. Yeah. yeah, it did. But then we had, uh, or I had the uh, smoked whiskey that was that was tasted. Ugh. I didn't like that one. It tasted too... Uh, Smoky? Yeah, smoky. <laughs> I was trying to think of the word, and you pulled the red out of my head. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, as someone who likes smoked meats, I'm surprised you didn't like that. Yeah. It's different in liquor. But it is. Yeah, it, it is, is different, different yeah. in liquor. Yeah, it is. All right, so that that was our weekend. You know, well, that's why we didn't do the podcast. Sorry, everyone. Everybody was out drinking. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, we... we uh, Our priorities shifted last week. Right. We went out and drank instead of stayed here and drank. <laughs> right. Whoops. <laughs> Apparently, we don't have fun here. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> All right. Mike, <laughs> what is this band that you brought, and where did, how did you find them? Uh, well, <laughs> they... Right. You know what? Let's just take a listen, and then we'll explain a little bit more. Uh, they are... <laughs> Full of energy. <laughs>
Chris Quartz Show. Better than a pair of airwalks. All right, so what'd you guys think of that? Are we going on a quest? Yes, we're going Sweet. on a quest. A quest I, for excellence. This is how I feel about it. I felt like it was a bunch of trolls marching through a fairyland, and they were trying to take over, like, fairies. Okay. And they were just marching over a green hill, and all the fairies were flying and getting in their way and such. That's how I felt like it. You would be very correct on their aim on this. So mm. they actually describe themselves as dwarf metal. Damn. See? So they they model themselves after the like the dwarves in uh, Tolkien books, and that's the whole gimmick of the band is just to you know what the dwarves would go through and like the chance and the brutality and the whole situation of it. See? Uh, so they are called, called it. They're called Windrose, and they uh, that song was Gates of Ekron from their album Warfront. Oh wow. Where are, they, where are they from? They're from uh, Pisa, Tuscany. Uh, Pisa, Tuscany. Pisa, Tuscany. Pisa, Tuscany. Pisa, Tuscany. Actually, I shouldn't have said that so What's quickly because I know you were inquiring. Uh, yeah, I should I have just made you guys guess from, a yeah. little bit. And yeah. you told them to <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, I was like, shut the fuck up. We're going to play a game. And then I'm like, Pisa, Tuscany. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. Now, now, can you find them on uh, every streaming platform, you, or how do you find them? You can find them on all the streaming platforms. You can find them. Also, they have physical uh, music that you can buy on Amazon. And this like is the eight tracks. And yeah, eight tracks, records. Uh, they have tapes. the wax cylinders. Okay. Yeah, you can get the wax cylinders. And they also do have... Um, they have a, a guy with are a they, mandolin that you can buy. Are they available on Napster? No. No, not Napster. But on their on the Amazon, if you go and buy their CD, this is the greatest description I've ever heard of. So it says, according to their Amazon music page, we don't write songs, we smith them. Oh, like my a blacksmith. God. Yep. They are like full on into this whole uh, dwarf thing. I love it. And if you check out their music videos... It's perfect. I just seen a music video and it looked like the dude from 300. Right. The yeah. whole theme is like that. Their live shows are like that. Everything is like that. And people are chanting and cheering on. It's amazing. Yeah. Now, uh, they sound a lot like uh, Man of War. A little bit, yeah. You I remember could, Man I of totally War? I hear that. Yeah. Yeah. The we're brothers. I forget what the song's called, but that's, that's uh, another band that. Uh, that was the name of it, wasn't it? No, I think that was the band name Man of War. No, I'm saying what you were just singing. That's the name of the song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I like it. I liked it a lot. It, uh, you know, it, it's like when you get up in the morning and you, and you want to like, you know. Rise into the street. Rise into the street and uh, get ready for your day. Light up a cigarette. Yeah, light up a cigarette. And strap and shoes on your feet. Strap shoes on your feet. And you got to find a reason. A reason to go on. And you got to find a reason why my money's all gone. That's right. Now, Tim has never done a shot of Malort. <laughs> How? No. Tim has never done one. I've avoided hanging out Good with you guys for, for you. Like three yep. years. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why we've been he, drinking it longer than three years. It though. Been no, it's only been a hipster for about it's three years. It's been a little bit. Uh, well, it's been a hipster for three years, but um, Brett brought it back. Well, he brought it back to Arizona. But I was probably five years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, because that was that. pre-COVID. Yeah, we should see now. We should have uh, now. We should have um, we should have called Brett and yeah. interviewed him and had him and had a shot. Uh, Michelle, I have some here. No, I I just need one more though. Yeah. No, you don't. Michelle's gonna do <laughs> a shot with, of Malort with us too. I don't. I don't need one. We're good. Oh, you're gonna do no, one. No, I'm good. Z it's your birthday present. Yeah, yeah, that is. Oh, we should <laughs> sing happy birthday and then do the shot. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Oh, we, we never also, sing happy birthday We also to you. did a... Uh, yeah, by the way, Mike texted me happy birthday the day after my birthday. 
Yeah. Da- <laughs> Matt was very mad about that, by the by way. By the way, you never responded. That's because it was like a day usual. after my birthday. He, I don't know what day it is. Seriously. I have it listed as two days in my phone, Friday and Saturday. Me and Tim knew as it should be. exactly what oh, day it was. Oh, you fucker. I asked we, you. We I said, asked you. No, we said, yeah, this is definitely the day. And Mike's like, I don't think so. I'm going to do it tomorrow. And yeah, he, he said that. And in a Kermit voice and all. Not, not only was I out of town at my brother's bachelor party. Oh, um, bring up your bachelor party. But yeah, I, I told have it, him. I have it saved in my calendar. I I texted you. I get no response. You texted There's me no the love. day after my birthday. You couldn't even say day after. <laughs> Matt was upset about that. I hope you were. <laughs> uh-uh. All right, so Michelle, do you want to talk in the mic? That's about a half. You got to fill that one up again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a half. Is that about all you can muster up tonight? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see after this. So obviously everyone knows what Malord is, right? No, probably, maybe. I don't know. It's a warm word. Liquor from the yeah, Chicago and area. I was telling you the stories of it. So it's a Chicago, Chicago liqueur, as they call it. But you know, it's it's uh, something that you would Thank like you. to prank your friends with. Everyone, him? Yeah. Am I? I'm not getting to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is for your your uh, uh, birthday. You got, look, Michelle's got the wrong cup. <laughs> this is Michelle's. It's on got it. your name on ah. it. Ah. Uh, this is for your uh, after birthday shop. A week late. All right. All right, Sam. You gotta, we'll see how you like it now. So we're singing happy birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Right. I thought we were singing. <laughs> right over the computer. That's right. All right. There we go, Timmy. Suck a dick. <laughs> that was very potent. Oh, and all Wesley Willis over there. <laughs> that was very potent today. What I was telling you about, this is the... Yeah, I don't want to try that no, one. No, I am not even going to try this <laughs> one. Uh, you should try that one. No, thank you. It'll ruin the rest of your this night. This is the anti-hero <laughs> Malort. So the Malort was an uh, anti... anti-hero. Michelle's done with this now. She walked away. But this is, Tonight, Michelle, and I've had like this it. for a long time. Yeah, that's how much we went through. <laughs> so there's your first shot of Malort. It's pretty bad. Yeah. All <laughs> right, lingers. Tim. At least with most other, it just burns and then goes away. Yeah, this no. This lingers. Doesn't yeah, it, this it doesn't, doesn't even burn. really burn much. It no, just tastes no, terrible. It's smooth, but yeah, it just uh, yeah. lingers. It, it's going to stay around for about a year or so. <laughs> and then oh, after- no, this is regular Malort. It'll stay around for the rest of the night. This will stay around for about a year or so. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, you know, this is they used this in the COVID era, too. They were getting, a, what was it, sanitizer and making sanitizer out of their bottles or something? I don't remember that, no. I think Malort did start, or the company who makes Malort did start making Jepsons. sanitizer. Oh, Jepson's made sanitizer, well, yeah. Or it, now it's CH. Now it's CH or something yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah. So you, so you liked it then? No. No. Okay. no. Mm. It, Will for, you ever do a shot again? No. No? Okay. For anyone who hasn't tried it, it basically tastes like really sour, rotten grapefruit. Yeah. You like think sour? Very, that that almost tasted kind of yeah, fresh to me. it's not sour. It's more... What I mean by sour is like something went bad. It tastes like bad grapefruit. You know, uh, when I first started getting shots of this, I remember people saying pennies. It's yeah, no, like it, you had pennies in your mouth. It gives you like a copper taste. No, I'd rather taste, have pennies. But it also gives you like that grapefruit taste a little bit. Maybe drinking grapefruit with pennies in your mouth. Maybe. Maybe. What? Pennies? No. <laughs> but, you know, they make fun of themselves. So, anyway, there you go, Timmy. Thank you, Chris. Let's get into <laughs> new releases. <laughs> hey, guys. What new albums are coming out these days? It's new release this time! New release! New album. New album. New album. New album. God. 
That shit's still on my tongue. All right. That's what she said. That is <laughs> May 19th. That is today. These albums are ready out. Go and pick them up. Without further ado, Alex Leahy. The answer is always yes. I'm going to rape him. Angie Stone, Love Language. Dan Kroll, Foo, Fools. Dave Matthew Band, Walk Around the Moon. Oh, damn. Def Leppard, Drastic Symphonies. Graham Nash, Now. Hannah Jedagu? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Aperture. Jadagu? <laughs> K. Tremaine. K. Tremaine. Kesha. Gag order. Mandy, Indiana. I've seen a way. Mega bog. End of everything. Paul Simon. Oh. Seven palms. Posey. Smiling pools. Rich coin. Synthetic. A synth odyssey. Season two. Sufjan Stevens? Reflections? Temps. Party Gator Purgatory. The Milk Carton Kids. I only see the moon. The Murlocs. Calm your farm. Why do I get all of these? <laughs> Tin Maruin? Tenere- Where do you see an M? I don't know. Tin Mar- Maruin. The music's done. <laughs> Abitasso? <laughs> yes, mirror, mirror to to sky. All sky. right. <laughs> how, how would you say that band? What band? The second to the last. Tenerian. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so go and check those albums out. Now that we're that song is long gone. Chris Stapleton is a friendly uh, artist. Everyone knows that. Well, he was caught masturbating. Be- <laughs> Sweet. Do you know? I I think he has a big hog. Maybe. What would you say? Big hog. Or You're only saying that because his first name is Chris. Yeah. <laughs> and I know all Chris's have big hogs. So. Prove it. (laughs) (laughs) It's cold, I promise. I mean, I I can't prove it now, but... (laughs) Chris Stapleton helped staff clean after winning Entertainer of the Year at ACM Awards. So there's a picture of him here leaf blowing all the confetti that were uh, was on the floor and he helped he just wanted to use a leaf blower yeah, like bring his own <laughs> fucking leaf blower <laughs> it, was no. probably, it was probably in this truck was it probably. an m18 was it uh, was it milwaukee it looks was it it looks like an echo maybe that's a um, ryobi ryobi yeah i don't know but but uh you know if you're gonna be a dreamer you better be a doer is that a Chris Stapleton lyric? I don't listen to him. <laughs> no, it just says that in here. Um, yeah, so that was after he uh, had his acceptance speech for the night. And, you know, he was down to earth. What a I nice think. young boy. Entertainer of the year he was. And then he did that. He entertained the all the... <laughs> <laughs> They're like, all right, Chris, you got the award. Now clean up. <laughs> right. <laughs> you need sure. to clean all this shit up that we dropped because of your award. <laughs> Show us the entertainment. And then he's like booty dancing while he's doing it. AM radio is being removed from many, many cars and their finale. I know that upsets you, though. That does. I'm an AM radio proponent. Yeah. Well, here's a question, though. You think the AM radio channels will move to FM? They're different frequencies. But, I mean, that's fine. They could change frequencies and go to an FM channel. Well, they all have FM counterparts. Okay, but you think that the shows in the AM will move to FM, though? I don't think no, so. No, they've been... I think they'll probably go online. Yeah, they've been migrating a lot of the, the AM stuff online. So right now, but you have it like dual. Radio's dying anyway. So. But can the, the people yeah. who listen to AM radio actually get online? That's true. I can get online. <laughs> Damn. Tim's calling you old. That's <laughs> Yeah. That's all those stomach issues. <laughs> Ford, BMW, Volkswagen, Tesla, and other automakers are eliminating AM radio from the some new vehicles during protest against the loss of a medium that has shaped American life for a century. And that's difficult. I was actually going to 
bring this up in a later podcast. I want to do a little bit more research. Um, but yeah, it is kind of difficult because there's so much history around AM radio. You know, you have WGN. Oh, yeah. That was one of the oldest radio stations in America. Yeah. And that's AM. That started off AM. So it's it's kind of sad to see all the history. What, what I had heard, it's uh, mostly the electric vehicles because the electric motor and the AM, there's yeah. some interference. Oh, yeah, that there's makes a lot sense. of interference. Yeah, that makes sense. But no one listens to So what you're saying radio. is we should stick to gas vehicles. Probably. That's what I'm hearing. But they're taking it off of... Um, they're taking it off of little home stereos as well. So even uh, with because of all the electric in there. Yeah, with the digital tuners and stuff, the the chargers inside, no. the Bluetooth uh, capabilities don't allow really good AM frequency. That's pretty great. I mean, you are very big proponent of AM. A oh, very big proponent. So it's like you know that's your 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 whole world. It's crashing down upon me. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to just... You got AM in that Camry? Download episodes of the Chris Court Show and just listen to them over and over again. Yeah. You, you mean you're going to listen to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The good old days. Ah, that was the good old I mean, days. If they stop broadcasting on AM radio, we can maybe buy an AM radio frequency. It's probably cheap now. <laughs> it is cheap now. Have you heard some of the shit on AM radio? No. Oh, there's some really good random, random homemade stuff on AM radio. Really? Yeah, search around the dial. Some well, you probably don't have it on your radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I have AM. But yeah, if you get a chance, search around the dial sometime, and you'll find uh, there's there's I a like lot that of, you call it the dial. The dial. <laughs> well, I st- I bought a radio that actually physically has a dial. It's got an analog tuner. Oh yeah. I I love old stuff. It's got the big needle that goes back and forth. Yes. <laughs> It does actually, <laughs> but they have um, they have a lot of foreign language um, programs on all, AM radio. All of our young listeners are not listening, so it doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see the demographic on that to see who, what the uh, age group is. You'd have to pay Google a lot of money to get that information. They pay me. <laughs> They paid a shit. <laughs> <laughs> when are we gonna get like commercials and stuff there where they we get paid? When are we gonna have a lot of listeners? Well, we will when we have commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure that's how it works. I I think it I think it is actually. I read it. Um, Billy Corgan is in the news again. This fucking idiot. I'm sorry. Do you like who? Who's a bit? Someone was a big fan of Billy Corgan. But he said he lost his greatest opponent when Kurt Cobain died. Really? (laughs) (laughs) Was there a contest? I don't think Kurt thought so. (laughs) I don't think America thought so. (laughs) He said when when Kurt died, I cried because I lost my greatest opponent. That's been his problem for the past 30 years. I want to beat the best. I don't want to win the championship because it's just me and a bunch of jabronis. To use a wrestling term. It's like Michael Jordan, arguably the greatest sports competitor I'll see in my lifetime. Um, but I'm better than Kurt Cobain, and I think Dave Grohl even knew that. Fuck Kurt Cobain. He is irrelevant. Does it actually say no. that? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say that, but he said, I will go down always as saying Kurt is the, was the most talented guy of our generation. Kurt had so much talent, it's like frightening. It was like a John Lennon level level of talent. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he was way better than John Lennon. No. (laughs) (laughs) I was waiting for that to come out. That's that's untrue. Way better. His his sunglasses game was on top. His sunglasses game? Yeah, he had really good sunglasses. John Lennon started it, though. No, no. Yeah, because he he had these little circle things. He didn't always have those, though. You're just thinking of one era. Yeah. I don't disagree yeah. with Billy Corgan's statement that he was like John Lennon level talented, but you have to consider it's a different generation too, different music. Yeah, yeah. Well, but it's, Kurt Cobain was super talented. He was, he was, yeah, of course. But I don't think Billy Corgan had. I don't, I don't, I don't think that he was a competitor at all. I no, mean, no, I don't. I don't smashing see him as a pumpkins no. to Nirvana. <laughs> Do you think that? I, I, I don't know how to because. 
It's okay. You can offend him. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> <laughs> or him. <laughs> but it's it's personal. I mean, yeah. he's Nirvana shot up to number one day after they released their album, whatever. Even Kirk yeah. Bain was still living on the street. So I mean, it's just. I mean, they probably knew each other. I mean, in the oh, music sure, scene. Yeah. So I mean, he's just that was his rival. I mean, right. that's what self. I think so. What you're saying is, if Kurt Cobain had lived, and Billy Corgan had died, Smashing Pumpkins would have been better. No, no, no. <laughs> Nirvana's still better. But I, uh, I, I agree. I, agree I, totally. I think if Billy Corgan right. died and Kurt Cobain survived, I, I, I don't think Kurt Cobain would have wrote poetry. No. <laughs> but what I think Billy Corgan's saying is that if Cor- Kurt Cobain would have lived, he would have wrote in better music for the last 30 years. Right. And then that would have been his competitor because we all know that but right below Kurt quit, Cobain is quit smashing pumpkins Billy anyway. Corgan. And then he went to uh, Zen or something or Ren. Yeah, he, he started doing poetry and then yoga or something. I don't know. And then making tea or something. Yeah, he's got yeah, a tea, tea house. Tea, made tea. Kurt Cobain would have been doing that, don't you think? Or would he have been like... He loved tea. I think Kurt Cobain would have lit that tea house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think that Kurt Cobain is bigger because he was he killed himself? He was a little man. Yeah. But like I, 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 I think that his legacy is because of part of because he killed himself. I don't think his legacy would have been as big as it was if he didn't kill himself. I think it would have been. No, you're wrong. If he didn't kill himself, would we even have the Foo Fighters? Well, I mean, look at Rick Astley. Right. So we're, are we glad that we killed himself? <laughs> Where are you going with this, Mike? Well, <laughs> well he's saying... He's, wait, we wait, talk wait, about wait, wait, what did you say? <laughs> Rick Astley? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, so think about it this way. Yeah, so if, no, if Kurt Cobain... you saying if Kurt Cobain didn't kill himself, he wouldn't be as big as he, he is. He would have never gave up is what you're saying. No, or let anybody down. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're saying that if Kurt Cobain never killed himself, he wouldn't be as big as he was. So it right. would, but if Kurt but Cobain you, was alive, it wouldn't be Rick Rolling. It'd be Kurt Rolling. Yeah, exactly. Ah. No, no. But you have you have Rick Astley, who's a one hit wonder. Right. But he's always kind of held his level of fame. I'm I'm having trouble where you're going. <laughs> well, so I'm, you mean that. Had Kurt Cobain, I don't think, I don't think anything would Rick have diminished everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's, I don't think I don't anything think, would have diminished from Kurt Cobain. I no, think a little but, bit. No, well, I mean, the I mean, uh, uh, um, how many uh, studio albums that Nirvana had? Is it five? Six? No, they had three. 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 Yeah. I mean, it really depends on like what albums would have came after that. Right. Like I mean, Metallica had awesome albums, and then they had Saint Anger, and oh, so geez. They, yeah. So I mean, they could have uh, could have came up but with a dud I mean. album, but I mean, but even it, there, they it, didn't diminish. Yeah, it's they just didn't like diminish. that was a really bad album. album. What the hell were you doing? But I think and maybe it was most of the snare too. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but it was like uh, I think that Kurt Cobain would have dug himself a deeper hole, and his music would have got more a shitty. Deeper hole. Yeah. What kind of hole was he digging? No, I'm just saying, like, I think... The one to put his body in. Well, I think... <laughs> obviously. I think that, I, you know, he was... They were good when they were writing music, right? I don't think he would have... They would have topped the music they were, that they were writing then. But wouldn't you be interested in a Kurt and Courtney solo album together? No. Oh. Jesus, I'm not even a, <laughs> like John and Yoko. I'm not even interested in John and Yoko. My God, that was the worst fucking thing. But we, we but, could have had that from Kurt and Courtney. Exactly, that, that, that's that would, what I'm saying. That would have been we did than, have that. It was like the half of the first whole album of uh, of which one? The whole album? Yeah, whole. Oh, yeah. it's it's it's. He Kurt. wrote. He co-wrote a lot of songs with her. Oh, he did. So he did like but a he didn't John. Sing on them. He didn't sing on him, no. He did like a John Lennon Yoko thing. Yeah, except it was more pleasant to <laughs> maybe, listen to. Maybe that's oh, yeah. why. He, maybe pleasant. that's why he. Uh, <laughs> my what? Maybe that's why he. You know, t- took his own life. Took his own life. He was a big fan of John Lennon. He was writing that shit. He's like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> 
I just, yeah, I just think that his legacy would have been a little, little bit diminished if he hadn't killed himself. I think he. You could say the same thing about John Lennon. Yeah, of course. You could say I mean, that he didn't if, kill himself, but you know, before yeah. he, since he died, you could say that. But he was with the Beatles, so they were already yeah. huge, huge. Nirvana so, was pretty huge at the time. I'm just glad that Kurt Cobain killed himself. Is what I'm saying because then we wouldn't. Oh, that's have, good. <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> we wouldn't have had the the power in Nirvana. You know, I, I still don't see where you're going. Would with you this. have liked Kurt Cobain to live? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I don't know. That I think what, his daughter would have too. Yeah. <laughs> No, she don't like him. He, she just thought thought he, he was walked away. He was a druggie that just didn't give a fuck. Now she's <laughs> sitting there just listening to Everclear. Yeah, that's all she's doing. Santa Monica is where she lives. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to fuck with you, Mike. I, re- I, I like her, man. I like no, him. He's a good guy. <laughs> I really do. I Uncle love him. Kurt. I fucking love Nirvana. Obviously, I'm just playing, trying to play devil's advocate. Where does it stop? Where does the, the what? I don't know. With with that bullet, I'm kind of lost. <laughs> <laughs> you lost me when you mentioned Rick Astley, so I, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Yeah, that was a nice wrench to throw at the machine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all stopped in our track. Riot Fest um, bands have been released September 15th, 16th, and 17th here in Chicago at Douglas Park, and here they are. We, go, um, we going? <laughs> Don't you owe me money? <laughs> Aren't you going to owe me money? Nah. <laughs> Foo Fighters. Wait, the, the hotel still hasn't been bought no, yet. No, it's though. booked. Yeah, it's booked. Oh, it is? Yeah. They, haven't, they haven't charged me anything yet, but it's booked. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. They to, have my credit card info. I can't uh, wait how to far hear the prices. From the... It's like uh, 10 minutes. It was like 10 or 12 minutes. Something yeah, like that. That's not too bad. Yeah. Um, so here they are. The bands. Foo Fighters. Uh, the Polster Service, Turnstile, Death Cab for Cutie, Queens of the Stone Age, The Cure, The Mars Volta, Mr. Bungle, mm. Tegan and Sarah, and then I'm trying to see any other bands here. The Used. You do readers. Who? AFI. AFI. Anyone else that you see? Um, Parliament Funkadelic featuring George Clinton. I can't believe they're still going. Yeah. That's another one. I thought George Clinton was dead. <laughs> no, he's still alive. Me and George saw him. Oh, that's right. I Blues. remember you guys seeing them. They played Flashlight for like three hours. Oh, wow. We left. <laughs> <laughs> they're still playing Flashlight. <laughs> this is. <laughs> he's got to be like, he can't even stand anymore. He's got to be just sitting there just like, yeah. <laughs> Bring the phone. Yeah, I mean, this was 10 years ago or so. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. How that. old is George Clinton? You know, he's probably in the 70s bowling for soup. Huh? Bowling for Soup. Is bowling for two. Soup. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, but, so. Yeah, I think it was like a four-hour show, and they played like two songs. That was at, where it was at? House of Blues. House of Blues. That sounds amazing. It, it was cool. <laughs> yeah. George Clinton's fucking 81 years old. <laughs> oh, that ain't bad. Let him get it. I, I, mean, bet he, I bet he gets the groupie still. That's about. I'm sure he does. That's uh, about Paul McCartney's age. So. Oh my fuck! Yeah. I'm sure his uh, guitar still comes out on Dude, the diaper. Dude, he looks like Tina Turner in the '80s. <laughs> Tina Turner now, or no? Well, Tina Turner <laughs> in the 1980s. Okay. Yeah. So there's your Riot Fest uh, lineup. So the you know did you hear Foo Fighters' new song yet? Yeah, it's pretty good. The, the second one? I th- uh, the second one I like better than the first one. I forget I, what they're called. I didn't listen to the second one. I, I heard the second one. Yeah, yeah I only heard the first it's one. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I like the second one. That one's about Taylor. You could totally tell that. But um, And Queens of the Stone Age has a new song out, too. I haven't listened to it, but they have a new one out. I'm very excited about that one. I like Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah, so do I. I'm interested to see what this lineup looks like because it always changes. Oh, you mean you don't think the it's going to be the the Queens of the Stone Age? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, they always, yeah, they always change. Yeah. yeah, ever since um, what Nick, what's his name, Lachey. left? Yeah, as the bassist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after him and Jessica Simpson, it was right. just it was all over. <laughs> yeah, Budweiser is redeeming themselves by uh, pivoting from a woke cans to camo and having Harley Davidson right on their can. Nah, That's a man. They should put the Harley Davidson logo on a Bush Light can. 
I agree with that. They should put, um, like, they should have put the tranny on the canny with, on a bike, a on a Harley they Davidson. A Trans Am. A, a, <laughs> a tranny on a canny with her fanny on a bike. Yeah. <laughs> But I like my, there would be a, a it's just unlimited of uh, puns. Tranny on a, a tranny, in a tranny, on a canny. <laughs> a transvestite in a trans am on a can. Can I am? Did you hear what Miller's doing? No, God. Here it goes. Miller's going the opposite direction. Oh, what? What? So Miller has are, are they following Bush Light then? Mm. <laughs> no, Miller has decided to um, buy up their old advertising that showcases women uh, in savory manners, so they can um, get rid of it. Huh? Yeah. So if you had if you have old Miller advertising that has scantily clad women. Old pictures. They're trying old, to buy it back. They want to buy it back from you so they can destroy it. What is, uh, How much are they paying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? They they say that it um, it kind of shames women. They think that women should feel empowered. Well, then stop. Then tell them I to mean, stop. Those women who were in those depictions probably are right. empowered because they got paid a lot of money from Miller to, to, to be in there. Right, <laughs> and they're very proud of themselves, and yes. they're very proud of and their bodies. And at this bodies. point, they're probably eighty, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I would hit and it. And you know what? That's probably a fond memory to look back on. Yeah. Look, your mom was hot. I'm up there on a fucking magazine. Yeah, I was the a little kid girl. is jerking off to his mom. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, <laughs> the kid didn't even know. At this or point, like the, the little kid would be jerking off to his grandma. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you know, then it's 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 really women's fault. Uh, because they're the you one. You go, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> because they have boobies. Well, they dress all scandalous, and then they say, "Well, don't look at me, and don't do this, and I should dress how I want to dress." Because, well, okay, then if I have my dick out, you know how many girls are going to go after my dick? No, you know? no not a single one. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but if I had, if I was in like a g-string, and my balls were hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> you would be in jail getting lots of sex. <laughs> Not with women. But my balls were hanging out. You know, girls would be eyeing me up and down, and I would have to say my eyes are up here. This has happened before at a party. <laughs> the girl literally said, your balls are showing. It's disgusting. She did. <laughs> she got really mad at me, actually. Oh, that was at Wes's party. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was Halloween, so you get did, over You it. did win the costume contest that year. Yeah. Well, you did, too. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that when you won as the Boy Scout and... Uh, John Wayne Gacy. Gacy. Yeah, John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. But his balls were hanging out of his shorts. <laughs> yeah. They were, proudly. I didn't notice that. Yeah. You didn't? S- several girls at the party did. <laughs> <laughs> but that means they were checking you out in the first place. Exactly. That's, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Eyes up here, ma'am. Yeah. Eyes up here. But that's what I'm saying. Like, girls want to feel empowered, and that's fine. You can you can feel empowered, and I, I like it. I just don't like the whole girl power thing, you know. I, <laughs> Tell them to, to <laughs> shut up and get back to work. No, no, no. It's not even that. I, I, I like the idea of women doing, you know. You know your, your wife's going to slap laundry and <laughs> No, no, no. She knows this. And I, I, the kids. I, I tell her about this because... Uh, you know, I just hate, you know, this is what I get angry about, right? When, when you're on Facebook or you go on social medias and girls are like, you know, all, you know, mothers are saints, which I think they are obviously, but guys do just as much. I think maybe women do a little bit more with their kids, but guys do just as much. It's never, and it's never, um, you know, a big thing. You know, men don't make it a big thing. We just, you know, and then women just throw it in our face. I'm going to get in trouble, probably. <laughs> I, I don't do anything with my kids. Yeah, you do. No. You spit them out on your ch- your fucking stomach. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what I do at night? <laughs> <laughs> I know this to be true. Yeah. Or uh, well, maybe they go in Jess's mouth. I don't know. No. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> 
And that's the end of the show. You know, you know your cousin listens to this, right? <laughs> yes, that's why I said it. <laughs> Remember you uh, to listen to old episodes, new episodes, and here we go. So we are on every uh, popular streaming service. Thank you for listening, and girl power. Once again, thank you for listening to The Chris Court Show. Remember, if you have a band or business, or know someone that has a band or business, send all the info and mp3s to chriscourtshow at gmail.com. Chicken nuggets and cranberry sauce. The Chris Court Show.